Welcome back. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. You're looking for my co-pilots, Virgo right there. That's Romulus. But um today we're here to watch the winner of our most recent poll. The winner of the poll was a movie called Christine. I have no idea what Christine's about. I never even heard of the movie to the poll. I don't know nothing about it. Like, I don't know who starred in it. I don't know who directed it. I don't even know what the genre it is. It's got something to do with a car. It has piqued my curiosity, so I'm here for it. But before we get into it, I need y'all to do me a favor. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Don't forget to go over there to EOM Gaming. Subscribe to that if you haven't. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Over there, you get early access to all my full lift videos. You get exclusives, and you get a weekly poll like this with a photo. Don't forget to check us out on social media. Don't forget to check out the merch store. But with all that being said, I'm ready to get into this. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. John Carpenters. So I know what's up to messed up. It sounds nice though. Oh, this is by Stephen King. So this is a scary movie. You got John Carpenter Stephen King on it. Not bad to the bone. Detroit, shut the f up. And that motherfucker clean. Why is that the only color car in the, in the line? I mean, he got a brand new car smoking. But they ain't got a powder blue, they ain't got a black, they ain't got nothing. They didn't. Why is that the only color car? How the f you that? That's sexy. Uh, just leave it. It's okay. Uh, Arnie, your lunch. Arnie's having a horrible glad. The movie just started. Slow down. Hey, he, hey, he disrespectful. Do you think any of my friends would pull up my mom and be like, "Hey, that's air pollution," and they want to turn that down? Arnie, I was thinking. Uh oh. Why he look familiar? The boy with the glasses. What he plays in. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hey, Roseanne. How you doing? Roseanne. Then I guess I'll be seeing you out there. I bet he's funny. Well, TTFN. Yeah, ta ta for now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> it's like BRB. <laughs> Having trouble with your locker? No. Did you see the new girl? He said no. She looks smart, but she's got the body of a slut. Here she comes. I think you'll like it here, Lee. Hi, find... man. School used to be so wild. Oh, we have a terrific yearbook staff. We won a prize last year. She looked grown? I want to have deep, meaningful sex with her. Not deep, meaningful? That is a wild statement to say out loud. Have you seen Arnie? Yeah, he's still in the shop. Buddy Rapperton has his lunch. Oh, Buddy Rapperton. Hi, Dennis. Hey, she is trying, ain't she? Just take it, Arnie, and let's go eat. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Come on. Come on. Bro, look at your hair. How you gonna pick on somebody? Come on. You wanna go for it? Hey, you got a knife and he doesn't. In my book, that makes you a chicken shit. 
Put it down, buddy. Yeah, put down the knife. I mean, you dirty, dude. What, are, what is wrong with you? Put it down. Oh! 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 Oh, buddy, stick him. Hey, man, hit that mother with a hammer. Stick him, buddy. Uh. 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 Oh. Why are we grabbing dicks? How do you like that? Dick face. All right, break it up. Come on, break it up right now. They fall different in 1957. Why are we grabbing dicks? Reverend's got a knife. You fucking liar. Hey, he dimed him out quick, didn't he? Empty your pockets, buddy. Is that in his pockets? Try it, you little ball fucking. I'll knock you through the wall. Fuck! Right away, scared you in your tight ass t shirt. Go to the office, buddy. I'll fix you. You're gonna wish you were never fucking born. So you ain't gonna talk to the one to punch you in your face. Stop the car, Dennis. Stop the car. Stop the car. Quick. We go back. Go back. Go back. What's the I want to look at her. Will you go back, please? Right. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What? Oh. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell it's still 1957. What year is this? What year, what year are we in now? Be careful, Dennis. That's a piece of shit, Arnie. I mean, she could be fixed up. She could. Yeah, she's sexy when she clean. Bet it won't even start. She'll start. You need these. Where the f you come from, creepy old man? What are you wearing? How much do you want for? Whatever it is, it's not enough. What is on? What is that? Is that like a back brace? What is that? My asshole brother brought her back in September 57. Brand new she was. She had the smell of a brand new car. I don't know how she had a cigar in it. Your brother loves this car so much. Why is he selling it? Because he's stone cold dead, that's why. Finally, this thing isn't worth 50 bucks. The money's not important, and there'd be no bringing her back here because I'm selling this shit old buy me a condo. They <laughs> don't bring the back. Do you realize she's 20 years old? I mean, that makes her officially an antique. 77, okay. That's what year we in. Okay. And how could you have let him do this? How's it my fault? Well, I'm going home. I think you should. Okay, that's it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Arnie, what kind of life? What did you say? Say it again, Arnie. Say it with your chest this time. You are not keeping any car at this house. Fine. And this is how the Unabomber is made. That motherfucker raggedy boy. <laughs> Christine, this needs some love. I knew a guy had a car like that once. Fucking bastard killed himself in it. Is that, um. <laughs> you could have poured boiling water down his throat, he would have pissed ice cubes. Damn. I ain't never heard of like that. I don't take any shit from you kids. Is that old dude from Grimless? From Grimless too? You want a butt, you go out in the junkyard. Oh, well, I don't smoke. Don't interrupt me, punk. Us, uh, sir? Why? Those men over there are smoking. Better tell them to stop. I like him. I like him. Are you gonna be okay? You know, for a Stephen King, John Carpenter movie, this is real calm. <laughs> what is it about that car, huh? Maybe it's just that for the first time in my life, I found something that's uglier than me. You're not ugly, Arnie. I know what I am. I mean, old boy a good friend. This whole movie, he's been looking out for him. He's a good dude. October 9th. He's got all his shit in three weeks. Um, the boy does have good hands. Good hands. Bad taste in cars. You know, Papa, you can't polish a turret. You can. But it'd be a horrible idea. 
If it wasn't for me, it cost you a whole shit pile full of dough to put this heap together. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. That dude's a dickhead. I know you ain't exactly got money falling out of your asshole. If you did, you wouldn't be here. Maybe we could work out some kind of a deal. Pick up around a place. Do that, and you can, uh, you can raid my junk pile for whatever you want. I, I might even throw in a few bucks. Well, yeah, I don't think that bad now. He's still a dickhead. I don't do but you don't think about it too long. I'll throw you out your fucking ass. See? Okay, so this movie's called Christine. It's about this car. My heart's at your command. Hey, you love that car, don't he? I wish I was an eraser. Hey, they are hard up, ain't they? He ain't like that. Dive come over to him. I mean to her. You think maybe you might um you might want to go out dancing with me? I don't know, maybe this Friday night after the game. I'm sorry, I can't. Well damn. She smiled, I thought you were gonna say yeah. Why not? I have a date. Mr. Gilder, are you lost? Shut the f up. No, ma'am. Why don't you return to your own seat and get back to work? Why don't you quit cock blocking? Mind your business, lady. Hey, man, no glasses. You're looking good. I can't make it. I meant to call you, but I forgot. Did you have plans with Dennis? You are going to find yourself with no friends at all if you keep treating people this way. Get off my back. Is he, is he the one that she's going on a date with? Ever since he bought that car, he's been obsessed with it. And you know what else? When we signed the registration papers at Town Hall, they told us the man who owned that car last died in it. Yeah, he killed himself. Does Arnie know about that? Did the dude told y'all that? Arnie doesn't know anything anymore. The dude, the dude, um... The dude, that, the dude at the garage say that, that he could drink boiling water, piss out ice cubes, because he killed himself in, front, in the front of the car. My brother died because he wanted to. He ran a rubber hose from the exhaust pipe. Arnie would have never bought that car if he'd known somebody died in it. The dude said it! Then I made him get rid of it. For decency, you know? Of course, the car came back three weeks later. What do you mean, came back? Yeah, what the Oh, so this is a Detroit Demon car. Look a lot better. A whole lot better. I'm going to tell you, bro. Despite this now telling me about a d damn Detroit Demon car, I'm not going to go with the car. That's so fucking funny. Shut the fuck up. Hey, we got a cocaine cabinet entry right here. Shut the fuck up. That is his date. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm surprised he even turned around to try to catch it. He got f***ed up, though. So. November 5th. So it ain't even been a month. Damn, he got hit hard. You know, Rockbridge hasn't won a game since you got hurt. Guess that makes you some kind of hero, right? I tell you that I'm not going to be playing football again. That's crazy. Has it ever occurred to you that part of being a parent is trying to kill your kids? Huh? See you around, pal. 
So all right. So okay. So we got it. We got this Detroit Demon card, and it's the cult. The the black dude earlier with the cigar. You know what I'm saying? So I, I now know it killed him. Um, it killed um the dude who owned it. It killed his daughter. It killed his wife. So you have to sit in the car for the car to kill you, right? I'm sorry, Arnie. I can't. I'm sorry. Where is she going to? What's the matter? What's wrong? I hate that car. I mean, you you care more about that car than you care about me. Girl, we've been dating for two weeks. You're gonna get a call. Come on. Come on. Christine, about to get you, girl. Really? Don't. What? Don't like me slapping your girl? Girl, have you ever heard of Ike and Tina Turner? He look like he went to the school of Ike. It seems like nobody likes my car these days. They said the little girl choked in it. Hey, the little girl choked in it. <laughs> oh, she go! She's about it there. Chris said, don't worry about it. I'm about to get rid of this bitch for us. Don't worry about it. What the hell are you doing? You get your goddamn ass off her! Bruh. <laughs> he was mad that the dude was saving her life. I'm not going in that car again. Don't you blame your choking on Christine. When I choked, something happened. The radio came on. Everything got bright. It did. I mean, you seen it. You was right there, bro. Can I at least call you tomorrow? I don't know. Hey, Christine was trying to get her. And she put her hands on me. I'm going to get her. Come on, Christine. Talk to, talk pretty to it. Come on, baby. Please. I used to have an 89 course guy I had to talk pretty to. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That is awesome. The Detroit Demon Car can talk. So they, they recruited somebody? Because there was only three of them earlier. I hope Christine killed every one of y'all. Y'all know I'm rooting for the car. At least in this situation. You're not going to fight back, girl? Play the radio. Do something, girl. They are f***ing her up. That is not how you treat a lady. Now, I'll just be a second. I just got to get my wallet out of Christine. You want to come in with me? Okay. Look, that's that Hollywood right there. Because earlier, she was about four inches taller than him. What's wrong? Arnie. About broke her f***ing hand. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm disappointed in Christine. I don't know what I expected her to do, but you, I figured she was going to f*** somebody up. Arnie. You know, she, you know he over there hurt. Don't touch me, shitter! Well, this is just me and Bruno, wasn't it? Get away from her! Get away from her! Oh, he lost his Arnie, I'm sorry. You might not want to go to the same college as him, because he's abusive. Listen, mister, you've been disrespectful us once too often. Take your mitts off me, motherfucker. Oh, 
Oh, I'm, hey. Hey, I was about to start talking shit. Like, boy, you are still 115 pounds. What the is wrong with you? But apparently, he got a demon in him too now. So him and the car has had sex and they made it. And they he got part of the Detroit demon in him. Oh, man. Hey, listen. I'm Hey, you see how he snatched up his pops and then pat him on the cheek? This is not the same dude from the beginning of the movie. Pack it up. Okay. Show me. Also, this is what we doing now. He about to stick his dick in the gas tank, ain't he? Shut the fuck up. Oh, you sexy bitch, you. I don't have to call the insurance or nothing. Girl, I love you. And that is fucking terrifying. Oh, we come to get you, fat boy. We're coming to get you, fat boy. Oh, we about to be on that ice. I bet he the one that took the shit. Christine, get him, girl. Hey, bro, why why would you walk towards it? We just f this car up. Is that you, Cunningham? Get him, girl. You ain't mad, are you? You mean? What do y'all took the my car? Yeah, I'm mad. Get him, girl. We ain't worry about that. We can fix that later. I'm about to get on GTA Online and get one of them cars. Drop it in the garage. And call it Christine. Are you good, bro? She can't get right there. You're a dead man now. I wouldn't have said that. That that's how you know the beef real. The beef is real. The beef is real. My job, man. So was he driving? I bet you a hundred bucks, buddy Rapperton. Maybe. Look how crazy he looked. Arnold Cunningham. I'm Rudolph Junkins, state police. I just want to ask you about your car. Oh, I would not do that. Your girlfriend is a hell of a lot more convincing than you are. She's not my girlfriend. And since when is it against the law? Fix up your own car when somebody else busts it up, huh? Since never. And you get off my back. I mean, I like this version of him. Look, I, I, uh, I need to talk. To, I need to, to see you. Arnie, I care about you. Look, I love you, Lee. Look, listen. Look, I think we deserve one more try. He about to try to kill her, ain't he? Don't you? I mean, he going back. He going out of psychopath killer. Will you give me a fucking yes or no? So he's abusive. Well, fuck you, bitch. He's emotional. I know I just said I liked this version of him. I don't like the f boy part. December 16th. I can't wait till y'all get killed. Man, his hair is unreal. Is that Christine? Is that our girl? Asshole. Let's give this asshole some of his own medicine. You can't do that where I'm from. <laughs> you can't do that where I'm from. We'll hit you. And blame it on you. Hey, she on his ass. Some shit is following me. I just hope he comes in here. <laughs> hey, 
And that's f***ing amazing. Is he in there as the car doing that by himself? Get him, girl. Do it again. Come on! Well, why the f*** ain't you moan, stupid? Oh, it's a wrap. Boy, thanks for playing. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Hey, man, that's amazing. This motherfucker's on fire, driving around. Oh, he's still chasing him. Oh, I didn't know he got that far. Bruh, run to, run to the right or left. Throw a zig in that bitch. That have to be terrifying. Hey, back, back aboard. Double tap him. Make sure. <laughs> like you ain't you ain't think this through, did you, Christine? Who are you calling? Uh, Cunningham gets there. Good. Uh, yeah, listen, he he was driving my caddy, wasn't he? Also, the car is really just doing that. Right, don't go over there. Okay, Jack. Come on out. The riot is over. Hey, I man. You know, he's a dickhead, but you know what I'm saying? He's a good dude. Ah! You're a bag of life. I flitched. And, bro, why are you looking deeper in there? I'd have shut that door and went on about my business. Nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> now you're homeless, girl. What was you doing? You're you're f***ing tripping. You're homeless now. You can't, you can't kill the dude who owns the garage. What's going on? So they found him dead in the car. Why do you keep butting into my life? Because we found your boss, Will Darnell, dead in your front seat. Well, ain't got to do with me. Nothing. I told you where I was. I got proof. Why? Well, I was hoping you could answer that. Somebody saw your car cruising behind Buddy Repperton last night. He's dead, too. So are Don Vandenberg and Richard Trelawney. Guess nobody would be trashing your car anymore. Hey. All I know is I got a Cadillac out front full of parts, and I'm supposed to be at school in half an hour. We'll take care of the caddy. I don't want you touching it. So, she was tinting her own windows. Hello? Hey, Lee. Happy New Year. Can I come over there? No. I need to talk to you. No. About Christine. Tell me on the phone. They both about to get got. Well, I'm going over to Arnie's tonight for New Year's. And yes, I, I wouldn't. I mean, we do it every year as folks are going to be there. I just just figured that maybe if I get him alone, you know, maybe he'll talk to me. Bro, you got one leg. What if that car doesn't let him? Then we destroy it. Can you? Can you destroy it? Because we've seen Christine with 93,000 miles on there. The next time we've seen her, she had 88. She's a time traveler. That's her right there, ain't it? <laughs> you really operating those babies. See, so we got the old rust bucket tonight. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You wanna watch what you call my car? She's real sensitive. Sorry, Christine. Good boy. I mean, he ain't wrong. She is sensitive. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wish I had a car that was like that. 
I'm just saying. I'm going to have to door dash nothing. Like Christine, go to Wendy's. Go to this grocery pickup. Is he drinking and driving? Ta da! Come on! Now, I want you to see this. This is, this is great alignment. You just don't see this anymore. I mean. I mean, he grabbed the f out of his hand. Don't be scared. I'm scared for you, man. For what's happened to you. It's this fucking car. I know you're jealous. We'll always be friends as long as you stick with me. Jealous of what? Lee's on your side. She cares a lot about you. <laughs> she does. Hey, he's crazy. Let me tell you a little something about love, Dennis. It has a voracious appetite. It eats everything. Friendship. Hey, bro, I need you to blink. Just one of them. Just, just do one. You know, when someone believes in you, man, you can do anything, any fucking thing in the entire universe. Then watch out, world, because nobody can stop you. Then nobody ever. And you feel this way about Lee? At best. <laughs> what? Fuck no. Talking about Christine, man. No shitter ever came between me and Christine. Now you watch this. Oh, he's tripping. Oh, man, there is nothing finer than being behind the wheel of your own car. Except maybe for pussy. Why would he do that? Who dropped it? Hey, for real. Like, he can't leave a regular note on that motherfucker. I don't care how bad you hate my car. Don't you dare. Keep... No. Listen, I'm just saying, if I can climb in the window with a broke leg, you can too. Yeah! What do you think? So what's their game plan? To get him there and destroy his car? Like, ain't this a little extreme? What if he doesn't come? Christine will. Oh, so he knows it's a demon car. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. She was already there. Hey, Christine was there hiding now. Hey, she looked mean right there. Lee, don't move! Stay where you are! Oh, he don't know Christine's pedigree. <laughs> hey, did you fix yourself? What are we doing? Girl, you need to get up there with him. Oh! So he's in there. I thought the car had been driving by itself this whole time. Why are you walking towards him? Shut up. Uh, uh, mm. uh, uh. <laughs> he's got it. He's got it bad. Bro, you can't be dead, bro. You're crazy. You're supposed to get up and at least walk around once. Arnie's dead. I'll forever love you. Is he gonna get up? I hope he get up. I don't know how that would work, but I hope he get up. Oh, Christine's mad now. What is that on the ground? Is that oil? Oh, she done rolled back to brand new. No. 
now. I love this car. The Artie wasn't about that life. The car was. The f happened to Christine? I wouldn't feel so bad if I were you. You two are heroes, you know. Real hero could have saved Arnie. Hey, some things can't be helped. Some people, too. I ain't gonna lie. I hope she walk it off. Shut the f*** up. Bitch, I'll never forgive you for this. God, I hate rock and roll. I was, hey, so hyped. It's a mother That's my girl. Bad. Bad. I can't do the boom. All right. So we just got finished watching Christine. And I'm telling myself the Detroit Demon Car came back and got both them motherfuckers. Actually, all three of them, because fuck the detective too. He should have mind his business. You know what I'm saying? I'm rooting for it. Plus, he got shitted on justice for Christine. Hey, hey, I'm on Christine's side. I'm I'm wrong with Christine. That's fucked up how she tried to choke a girl, though. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have to do that. I don't know. Hey, bruh. Never, hey, never in my life would I think that, that I've been watching the motherfucking Detroit Demon Car kill people. I didn't know what this shit was about. That would not have been a guess. Like, I knew it was about a car, but I didn't know what the car was doing. You know what I'm saying? I just, I did, I didn't know. The, hey, this is this is cocaine cabinet all day long. I'm telling you. But she was born different. You know what I'm saying? She was born special. She was the only one red. And all she wanted was some respect and love. Well, she fucked up old boy's hand. I don't know why she did that. But old dude that ashed his cigar in the car. You know what I'm saying? She was like, what are you talking about? I just got made. You're going to do me like this. And so she got him. I don't know how she got him, but she got him. I feel like Christine was the victim. And then she got shit on. You know what I'm saying? That's so petty, man. I enjoyed this. I had fun with it. I just, I never would have, I never would have thought. I don't even know what kind of car Christine was. But I just, I just never would have thought that's what it would have been. Shit's wild. Stephen King and John Carpenter. I knew when I seen both their names attached, it was gonna be it's gonna be out there. I can't wait to go talk about this. But the day she fixed herself in front of me, hey, look, 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 look girl. I'm gonna need you to act like a regular car. You can't be doing this. I sold her or something. Actually, I probably wasn't sold her because I've been scared she'd come back. I got my cardio up one, so she couldn't chase me. I seen what she did to the last fat boy. I ain't trying to be on that list. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me. I enjoyed watching with y'all. It was, it was wild as hell. If you didn't do it for me earlier, please do it for me now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the gaming channel, EOM Gaming. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. I'm going to give a shout out to all the VIPs on Patreon. I'm going to give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful doll Missy, Big Al Robin, Big Frank, Cody Stoudemire, Paul Sawicki, Frost 1997, Anna Rondo, Jeff Jernigan, Adam, Grady B. Olsen, Red Tail Z, TJ Gingler, Thomas, the Brandons, Garrett, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Jenkins, Super No Um Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer Natley, BB98, Chris, Nareen, Nick, Cope Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks, Caleb, Steve McCluso, Echo, Peanut, Samory Zachary, Jonathan Patrick, Ron Rocket, Beardo, Blackbird Bob, I Indie Media, Amen Locke, Jake Stimson, Banan Boer, Jake Slogan, Tony A. Aragon, Captain Roberts, Dom, LeVar Hawkins, Show, Colin Ashore, Jason, Harley Smith, Brad, Rick Miranda, Michael Clark, Jesse, Gina, Luke the First, Antoinette, Cecil, Maddie Def, Fast Phone Guy, Burrito, Amy K, Rafi Long Island, and Bianca. Thank all y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. 
appreciate everything y'all do for us. Thank you for everything. It means the world to us. It means more than you'll ever know, honestly. Y'all, y'all keep us sane, but y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.